Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I um, hope you are doing fantastically as usual. So, today is quite the special day as it is Easter, Easter day. Is that the, what, do you, what do you call it? It's a Sunday, so it's like, it's Easter, basically. And I'm looking to celebrate this in one way or another. Like usually, um, like every other Easter I've had, I've been like in Sweden, and now we have like our traditions, you know, you paint the eggs, you like um, do the Easter egg hunt, and like most importantly, you have like an Easter lunch slash dinner. As I am missing Sweden quite a lot, I didn't get the chance to go back to Sweden for this holiday as like Corona and stuff. Um, I thought I would do like a mini celebration here in London, a Swedish Easter celebration here in London. So basically the plan is to make myself an Easter lunch. There is one Swedish store pretty close by um, and I think I, I, they better have these um, foods. So I'm gonna go there, go for a, little, a wee shop, you know, you know how it is. Hey guys, I am back again. Today I'm trying out this little escapade once again, and hopefully it works. I'm craving some yummy Swedish food. Today is, what, Tuesday? Um, I was supposed to go yesterday, Monday that is. Like everything was closed then again for Easter. Sorry Jesus that I do not know the dates. I will do some more research, research for next holiday. So what's the plan? Basically taking the same route, and hopefully this time I do not go the wrong way. Got my little Starbucks here, isn't she cute? Mm. We're off, we're off. I'm caffeinated, I'm hungry, I am so excited for some Swedish Swedish. Because here's a Swedish store. Loads of Swedish foods, items, these are the things that I'm gonna make later. Okay guys, the food has been secured. But going into that shop made me miss Sweden so much. Oh, the Swedish food is just so iconic. Um, but anyways, I'm back. Back on my way home. Yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm back home so we can get <laughs> I'm back. This setup that I have going on is iconic but super unstable. I usually have my whole entire like book collection stacked up, I'll show you guys later. But thank god I'm a book nerd, otherwise my YouTube would be suffering. Anyway, it's time for a haul. I do love it. I do love a haul. So, first off, we have our Swedish item from the Swedish store. Let's start off with the Easter themed foods. So, in the Easter dinner, I will be using Swedish meeples. These are so yummy. Then we have the silk, which is basically like <clears throat> it's like fish and like sauce. It's like raw fish, and it's pretty good, I would say. I've definitely come to like it as my age has increased. You know, now that I'm a 20 and adult, I have to have to like this. We have a little like brown sauce. It's called sort of a like gravy equivalent. It's better than gravy though. Um, and this will have we will have over the potatoes. We also got some like. Follicle, it's like some sausage. And like for Easter, you are supposed to have like small like, pins called rather they're called like small like versions of this sausage. I sadly not have them at the Swedish shop. Low-key it, it's not that much, but as I said, like Sweden doesn't have like that many iconic foods, but the foods that they do have are like out of this world, they are, out of this world. They are the most iconic quality over quantity. Am I right? We've got a smart knife, which is a butter knife. I don't know why these do not exist in the UK. Maybe I will start a business where I like carve out these cute little butter knives. They're just so much more practical. And guys, this is truly embarrassing, but I missed the most important part of like an Easter meal, and that's of course the eggs. Where to start? I think I'm gonna start by like boiling the potatoes. 
I've never boiled potatoes like in my life, but apparently they're supposed to be in like the boiling thing for like 12 minutes. Do I peel them? No, girl. What do I have to peel them with? Literally nothing. I'm not that big of a master chef just yet. I might get a peeler for next time, but like now I am on a budget. The water is literally boiling, girl. I'm excited for this. And of course, we can't forget the seasoning. Come on. You don't want bland food now, do you? Ooh! How do I put this in normally? Shit. Girl, I don't want to get any burn marks on my hand up face because I'm that's not the vibe that I'm going for. But aren't they cute getting a boiled up? They better not get like flowery, like flower texture, because then I will literally sue Tesco where I bought them. Put this on. Will it overboil them? I don't know, we'll see. So, time on 12 minutes. I'll do 11 actually, because I despise potatoes that are like, not like firm. So, apparently the potatoes are finished. I'm skeptical, because I want out. Ah! Shit. Oh, here's a cute little potato, we love that. And just to clarify, I'm gonna get through my girlies here in Connell to give like a taste test of this whole Swedish experience. Oh. Ah. Oh no, that's way too hard. I'll do it for another minute. These bad boys are done. The girlies have bathed long enough and they are all good. If my friends don't like the texture of this, they are cancelled. So watch out, watch out. Look at these beauties! I usually hate potatoes, but I have a feeling this is going to be amazing. Obviously because I cook them and I know like the right firmness, so... Yeah. Okay, so now it's time for phase two of this cooking extravaganza that I have going on. I will have to keep multitasking a bit, but don't worry, I will be safe, of course. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to boil the eggs um, at the same time as I start frying up some of the meats. The angles are driving me insane. I'm not a pro YouTuber yet, but soon I will be. So, put this on. The water is boiling and the sound, the crazy sound that it's making is slightly stressing me out, but we'll just keep that. Keep the important part when you like put the eggs into the boiling water is that you take it with a spoon so otherwise they will crack and your whole like boiling water will be all gross. You can be just finessing that whole process. I think I did it. I think I got them down. Let's check them out. Let's check these you guys out. They're all there, they're all intact, right? Nobody's cracking. So that's iconic. Here we go. Do I take the whole package? I think I do, honestly. Okay. My pants a bit too small, but we're not complaining. But I see. Here we go. They are kind of stacking on each other, but I feel like it'll be fine. Because they have like warmed up a bit. Hi, it's a few minutes later. Sadly, my battery like, did like, die. The uh, chifilla are ready. They're all like a bit like charcoal -y even. You know, like when they're really fried, I do like, like crispy, crispy. Ooh. Now it's time for the follow card. It does look disgusting, doesn't it? But it does get better once you put like butter and roasted like really hard, also a bit charred. I do, I. I don't know why I like that so much, but you need to like make it really crispy, you know? Cut them up like this. Because then like the shape becomes nicer and they, like, it tastes better, so yeah. Ah, it's stressful now to like this all in at the same time. It's gonna be here for a while, I'm gonna peel the eggs. These baddies are making some noise. Chill, guys. Is, is it too high heat? Let's see. 
this shit. I'll turn it down one one heat. Should be frying up quickly and turning down. Ah! You can let them sit there for a while. I did turn down the heat so that you can get it fully like cooked, you know? So now it's time to peel these eggs. And I will say that I'm not the best at peeling eggs, so I never do it. I just like, you know, like, like crack the top open and then just like eat it from there. But like obviously that can't be done now because they need to be like cutely cut and stuff. So let's crack one open. Peel these. Boring sight, so I'll catch I'll catch up soon. Oh my god, this bed not fall over. Then I will sue the bookstore. Okay, girls and guys, Addies are frying still. What up? <laughs> Shit! Okay, let's get these in here. These aren't... I mean, like, this is how they should be, but it looks very bad, I will say. Time for the last step, which is to make the brun So Do you have measuring stuff? For how long? Time to serve the plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour up some... Just below. Take some of the folly curve. One egg. Ooh. The egg fell out. This is my plate then, because sorry guys, I'm not gonna give you that. The seat. The sauce to this, like that. We do have like lingonberry jam. But I can put this by that, I guess, in my budget. So. Like for the potatoes and for the corn, we have the ketchup. I use ketchup yeah, we dip the potatoes in the um, in the sauce that was in the sill. We can't forget the brown sauce for um, the potatoes. So guys, this is my finished Swedish Easter plate. It's gonna be lovely there. I'm going to love it. Okay, guys, so all of the dishes are ready. I mean, this is so delicious. Amazing. Guys, grab a plate. Yeah, yeah. You can sit in the bed if you want to. I don't care if my oh bed my gets God. messy. Amazing. Okay, so first off, we have that Swedish meatballs. This is these, which are like the best Swedish thing you could ever have. A farlig cord. This. Okay. I'm so excited. Plus the meatballs, chocolate. Okay. Put in ketchup. It's nice. Isn't it good, guys? <laughs> oh, that's so amazing. Good. I know! Now we need the sill. Two, one. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I mean, I like the texture. <laughs> wow! <What? laughs> but it doesn't really like. Okay. It's like. Fish. It's very fishy. It's smoked fish. Yeah, smoked fish with like a uh, creamy. It's very fishy. A very what are your thoughts, guys, about this meal? No comments. No comments. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Cami, are you happy with my I meal? Love the fish was um, a bit. A bit it salty. was a bit strange. It's interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Loved it. Good. 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 She absolutely <laughs> adored it. Adored it. Hello, guys. <clears throat> the guests have left. My room is an absolute mess, as you can see. But honestly, it was all so, 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 so worth it. I had such a lovely time. If you all enjoyed this kind of crazy, chaotic vlog, like, bye, I'll see you guys very soon.